and we do have quorum, so we can move forward and make motions. Great. Um, Jody, do you have the agenda or do you want Courtney to run through? You're on mute if you're talking. You might need to star six. Yep, sorry. I, I thought you could hear me. I was, um, I thought you could hear me. I was saying um, I have the agenda. I just wanted to see if anyone um, had any changes or any questions about the um, Agenda, uh, minutes. If not, I'd welcome a motion to approve the minutes. So move. A second. I would second with the minor change. But my name's not spelled right at the top, but not substantive. Just calling it out. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Julie. I will make sure to change no that. Worries. <laughs> with that minor adjustment, I second the motion. Great. Um, all those in favor, um, signal by saying aye. 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 Uh, great. Um, okay, wonderful. Anybody else um, have any other misspellings of names and stuff? I know that's, I think that's something we can kind of change informally anyway if we do find those. But thanks for um, saying that, Julie. I appreciate that. So, um, great. So, the next item is. Uh, uh, sorry, Julie, you might have to, or Courtney might have to help me. Um, the, I thought we would talk about, uh, um, sorry, I'm looking for the minutes. Look. You guys, while you're doing that, just a heads up, I'm going to have to switch devices. So I'm going to appear by just by phone, but I'll be gone for just a second. I'm going to dial back in. Thanks. Okay, so I thought we just update and review on the presentation to the Wildfire Matters Committee and discussion about the results from the committee recommendations. And I saw this already came out with some of the um, subgroups and other commissioner groups that I'm associated with. So I thought I would just turn that over to, well, first I would just, um, I think Matt McCombs and I could just give a quick, direct McCombs and I could just um, share um, about our experience, um, I'll start with just that we, um, we I thought our presentation went really well. I thought it was great between um, Director McCombs and I um, kind of bouncing off of each other as a presentation and then having him be able to provide that subject matter expertise. And they had some great questions. Um, they didn't seem to, in my opinion, um, uh, have big concerns. Um, and I did talk to one of the um, legislators contacted me later that wasn't able to attend and asked some questions and she seemed to be um, um, thankful for our presentation as well because she got to see it afterwards. So Director McCombs, did you want to add anything to that? No, I think I think you captured it well. You know, we they were definitely uh, the recommendations were well received and they're definitely reflected in the Tim bills that are uh, moving forward for dialogue or for discussion and, and voting later. So I think it was a good show of uh support for the work that we're doing and i i thought that yeah bouncing it off between the two of us went really well great thank you um so i was hoping that maybe direct mccombs or um courtney could kind of um um present or share the 10 um for the uh for the results from them that what they forwarded to um their 10 suggested bills, if you'd like to, because I think you probably can do that a little more concisely because you've probably dug in a little bit deeper than I have this week. Or Courtney can, whoever would like to do that. Uh, Chair Shattuck with the Alley, if I can jump in here. Um, Alice, if you're available, I'm I'm wondering if Alice might do us the honor, um, only because there has been some movement on a couple of them just in this week. Um, and Alice, yes, to make your life easier, I just forwarded you some very like one sentence summaries of each of the 10 concepts um, nice. that we shared with the committee. So if you don't have your notes on hand. Yes. Give me one second. Alice is also being a mom this morning, so we can. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh, thank you about that. Let me just pull up my notes for a second. 
Thanks, Angela. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so basically, just as a procedure, the committee um, can draft uh, 10 bills um, and five can move forward, um, you know, for consideration by the executive council um, for introduction to the 23 session. Um, so as um, Dr. McComb said, a lot of what we, you guys discussed as legislative concepts um, uh, came up and are reflected in the bill titles that were, that were pulled. Um, the first bill that was pulled by Representative Snyder um, was a, um, a, a bill uh, concerning the hardening of uh, construction codes in the WUI based on the statewide fire risk assessment map. Um, so basically this, this bill is, is concrete directions on, you know, um, homes being constructed or, um, you know, altered in, in the WUI um, to, to help. They sort of based on um, some of the fire uh, commission's recommendations. Um, so that one is, you know, pretty, pretty direct. Um, so, you know, I would start immediately. Um, the second bill title um, that Rep Snyder pulled was around uh, evacuation routes. Um, so basically, um, taking a look at, at supporting public awareness and preparedness um, for evacuation routes, um, to trying to um, to help um, you know folks get better um, information. Um, he doesn't believe that the reverse nine one one call um, process is necessarily um, working, um, and so looking at evacuation modeling to pre-establish routes is something that they're. Um, that, that bill is sort of aimed at. Um, and so the third bill concept um, um, was a title that Rep Cutter pulled, which would be to the, um, establish the statewide WUI code board as outlined by the Fire Commission. So that is a, a sort of a step removed from set Rep Snyder's bill, where it's taking the Fire um, Commission's recommendations on pulling together a board, which is a slower, just establishing the process for setting these statewide um, building codes. Um, and then um, Bill 4, which is the Exploration of Workforce Development. Um, so this was a very amorphous, um, you know, sort of concept and a lot of legislators were hitting on this. So um, there's talk about uh, youth core apprenticeship programs, um, as well as um, looking at a little bit of um, high school guidance. Um, counselors um, like trying to increase the pipeline on that front. Um, Rep Cutter has asked that um, me, Angela, and Carolyn Asplin, um, as well as Molly Pitts, um, help with the drafting of that bill. Um, so we're working on that. Um, Senator uh, Hawkins Lewis um, pulled a bill title about um, workforce training um, to help acquire um, some simula uh, workforce like um, wildfire simulating tools at a couple community colleges that already have. Um, like wildfire industry or um, and timber industry programs, um, so looking at acquiring one to two um, simulators on on that front. Um, let's see, uh, Senator Quorum pulled a wildfire um, camera and AI um, pilot program bill. So this is very similar to build uh, titles he has pulled in the past. He didn't talk about what um, agency he wanted to oversee this pilot program, I suspect it would be um, DPS, um, given the legislation from last year. Um, and then Senator Quorum also pulled a title um, about a grant program for steep slope logging equipment. Um, so and upon further um, conversations with him, we've seen that he, um, you know, wants to see help for those that can't afford loans that are, are trying to work in this space. Um, you know, for this deep slope logging equipment. Um, so we'll be in touch with him on that front. Um, and then uh, Rep. Will um, wants to rerun House Bill 22 1166, which was a sort of amalgamation of a couple different concepts, um, which was a bill last year that didn't move forward. So it included an apprenticeship program for the timber industry that was jointly run by the Forest Service and CTIA, um, as well as some uh, tax incentives or um, tax breaks for mitigation equipment, um, things like that. Um, we have had some further concept or uh, conversations with Rep. Will, and um, given that Bill 4 Rep. Cutter's bill on workforce development kind of covers that apprenticeship program that he was going to have this bill title be more of just the the tax the tax component. Um, and then um, Rep. Valdez pulled 
a bill title on um, reforestation, um, just trying to um, looking at the state's efforts on reforestation, how is the money being spent that's already been allocated by um, the General Assembly to support this kind of work and potential future needs. Um, and then lastly, um, there's a bill, uh, bill title pulled um, to rerun Senate Bill 2280, uh, which failed last year, which was um, supported um, wildfire investigations at DPS. Um, so that, that bill just kind of lost, um, like they ran out of time and funds on that front. But so those are the, the concepts that are being drafted right now. Um, the legislators had a deadline. So they met last Monday. Um, it wasn't this Monday, um, but they, yeah, it was this Monday. Um, so they met and then they had to submit uh, their concept outlines to drafters this, this Wednesday. And then um, on September 7th, the bill drafts will be finalized. The um, fiscal note process will start um, and going forward. So that's sort of the outline through, again, I can sort of see how some of these bills, um, uh, the Wildfire Commission has a history of, of uh, mashing the other uh, concept ideas um, to, to get, you know, bigger, bigger concepts through, um, you know, like touching multiple areas in one bill. Um, I can kind of see Senator Hawkins Lewis's, um, you know, the, the funding for the simulators getting folded into the workforce development bill. Um, you know, I could, there, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out, but that's sort of the lay of the land at the moment. Great, thank you, Alice. That's really um, a nice, concise um, uh, uh, analysis and brief of, on the uh, bills coming forward. And I appreciate um, all that work that you did. And, and you know, Courtney and everyone and Angela, I appreciate that. Anybody have any questions? Uh, just to refer to for process sake. So um, at the next meeting, of the the wildfire committee um once the bills are drafted um they will uh take a vote on what bills will move forward um i think it's just it's a simple majority um for those five that will go forward and then those five will be considered by the um executive leadership committee later on in the year where they get the thumbs up or down from leadership in both chambers on whether or not the interim bills would be introduced that tends to be a, a, a formal kind of a formality, almost all the interim bills go forward. But, um, you know, right now we're really in that key um, uh, uh, sort of engagement phase because um, there's a, a short period for us to sort of help, you know, provide comments for the drafts and then also anything, any other changes after um, September 7th um, uh, need to be uh, done by um, so this question from Paige about whether the fire uh, I know that they did present. Um, I can't, I can't recall if they provided specific legislative information. Do you recall? Um, sorry, I just didn't ever see anything. So I wondered if they had provided something similar to what our council did. Alice, were you who were you talking to? Sorry, I was distracted by the feedback from the <laughs> Oh, yeah. So um, Paige had asked if the fire commission presented legislative concepts to the committee, like meet, like the Forest Health Council did. And I, I believe so. I know that it, DPS presented in a couple different um, fashions, but I don't remember. Yeah, I don't either. Let me go back and look at my notes. Um, but I, I definitely know the WE code board, I think, was their hope, you know, for it to be rerun again. Um, Director McCombs, I don't know if you have any perspective. Yeah, I was sort of trying to think if they had a agenda spot similar to the force. I don't recall an actual agenda spot specifically for the commission, but I do know that DFPC in their overview and their testimony highlighted that the commission in its last meeting essentially restated that that was its top priority uh, and that recommendation was not going to be changed in addition to taking on additional uh, work to formulate additional recommendations. I think the signal was sent pretty clearly to the assembly it, that, that that was- And that was a okay. high priority yeah. for the governor's office too. Sure. Um, so this that will continue to be something that the administration um, is supportive of and working towards. Great. Um, 
I appreciate all that those insights and that information. It sounds like this kind of covered that next um, agenda item of next steps about the um, our presentation, the recommendations. So what is our next step as a committee um, um, now that we're- Jody, can I ask a quick question? Sure. Before we jump to that one. So I was confused when I was listening to the the um, interim committees during on Monday. Um, Rep. Snyder had a sort of a, a an idea that was a step ahead of the Ruby Code board. That was maybe kind of maybe something that would take place more urgently than over the two year period that the Ruby Code board would develop concepts. Are those compatible or not compatible? Do you think with each other? I think. <sighs> I think that's going to be a serious discussion for the committee to through, and I suspect uh, the fire department DPS have some strong thoughts as well as the um, uh, stakeholding organizations like CML and CCI builders. Um, things like that. I think there's sort of offer that build concept because he sees, he sees that there's like there are things that we know that work that are cost effective. I think he was talking about targeting uh, building code privacy that cost maybe three thousand dollars, twenty eight hundred dollars to to implement when we do construction. So I'm I'm not sure um, on on how that goes. I do think um, external stakeholder engagement is really going to dictate whether or not we move that bill forward or um, just more commission uh, recommendation of setting up the state board. Um, I think what you're seeing on that front is just that, you know, the, the sense of urgency um, on making some of these changes now. Um, just, you know, I know this, this this season has, you know, been uh, a lot later in the, the wildfire. Got it. Great. Thank you. And I, I think, yeah, the, the, the Rep Cutter's idea, or, you know, the, the core of this is moving forward with the fire commissions. Will you? Code board recommendation intact, and I expect maybe a few tweaks and changes in stakeholder input is, is um, that process is underway. But um, as far I guess it's, it's, it's the core uh, fire commission recommendation is Cutter's uh, desire to implement, as far as I understand. Yes, that is Rep, my, Rep Cutter's goal, I think, is yeah. just providing the vehicle for those. Um, for the process and the um, the alleged concept that the fire commission put forward. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Sorry, and sorry, I'm on the phone only. It's just um, devices got screwed up this morning. So. No problem. Um, ben, would you mind muting yourself when you are uh, not speaking? We're just getting some feedback. Thank you. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Um, so. So now that we have that question answered, what are our next steps as a as a committee? Um, or do we just come and support, or how, what are next steps for us as a legislative committee? Or did this just go back to the Forest Health Council in general as we um, engage as this process goes forward? I mean, I would love to have um, you know someone from a, the the council, whether it be members of this committee or this committee in general. Um, you know, uh, as I said, Rep. Cutter has. has um, tasked us with sort of helping shape um, Bill Concept 4 with the Workforce Development Pipeline, um, which I think, you know, we've all agreed is like really critical on that front. I'm happy to share like the sort of draft outline that we whipped up um, very, very quickly um, to meet that Wednesday um, drafting deadline. But, um, you know, and also I know Angela will be uh, gallivanting in Europe for, um, for a bit, which I am not jealous of at all. Um, but uh to to sort of help have a point person for me um and carolyn while we do that um and then you know oh um mark that's all right i was waiting for you to finish uh <clears throat> that would be very helpful to me any materials that you could get us in advance on what you're doing with preparation of these bills uh, and especially the workforce development i've been trying to get some homework done on it too and uh so anything Anything that you could get information out that way would be extremely helpful to me. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm happy to share that concept that we pulled together with Courtney to disseminate to this group. Um, you know, like I said, we have until the 7th um, for the, the bill concepts to be finalized. So, like I said, we have a bit more of a hand, um, you know, 
a hand on the pen, if you will, for uh, Bill Concept 4. But if there are, um, you know, like if, you know, the committee wants to vote to support, you know, like one bill or another or things like that, that I'm not sure the procedure that you guys have on that front, but um, if you guys want to make decisions and then let legislators know, let the committee know, um, that's, I believe, totally within your prerogative as an advisory um, board for the um, General Assembly. Alice, do you remember when, or could you give us a ballpark when interim bills are generally introduced? Um, because I'm sort of thinking we would need to vote as a whole council uh, to support individual bills. Our October 20th meeting would be too early, obviously, but um, January could be the next option. Yeah, so um, the bills themselves will be introduced like in the first three to five days of session when it starts, um, which is, I think, January 8th. Um, I'm, I would need to double check on when the executive leadership committee um, it, it would meet to, to vote up or down on the interim bills, because I think that might be the step for that. Um, but again, procedurally, that's not usually where folks are lobbying on bills unless it's like really controversial. Um, so I think, you know, when it comes to engaging on helping shape the direction of this, um, and I don't know, Angela, like procedurally, like obviously some of these these bill cuts are very close to the legislative proposals that it seems like the whole council voted on already um, to present to the legislature. And so I don't know if that blessing counts carries over um, to engaging now that we're in the drafting phase. Um, just, a, just a thought. Yeah, I'm gonna ask Elizabeth, um, REG support some of these questions because the other important question I think we need to answer is this council generally operates, I mean, following card open meetings law. And so I don't quite understand how members of the council can potentially engage with bill drafting if the bill con if the bill drafts themselves have to be kept confidential. Mm -hmm. So I'll ask Elizabeth. Gotcha. Well, then maybe like we can do it a little bit informal through me. Um, just, I mean, you guys are the subject matter experts on a lot of stuff. Um, and so I can do kind of gut checks with, with you guys individually, um, as opposed to like, I, don't, I assume like we can't have two council members talking about the same thing without the thing, um, meeting. So, all right. That's Wait, helpful. You could, you could send some draft language, for example, not the whole draft bill, but you know, to a member yes. to get some feedback and sort of do that individually. I think that yes. would be appropriate. Okay. Well, I'm I'm happy to do that. Um, particularly, like I said, you know, Bill Four. I think we have a little bit more um, time and space to to work on, just because. Um, and it's it's tough. Just you know, a lot of legislators are running. Um, this is a you know a big election year for a lot of legislators, and so um, opportunities to engage with them directly are few and far between. So, um, and I'm going to, just to let you all know, I'm going to have to step off right at nine just for a couple of minutes to take a call and then I'll maybe have Courtney or Angela kind of finish up, but we're almost near the end. So it sounds like our next meeting, we should be talking about maybe this work, some of the, this uh, concepts are bringing together some of this work um, after we get to look at it. So that would be my next question is about cadence of meetings. We have been meeting quite a bit this year, every two weeks. And I know, um, uh, we kind of took um, a little break, but we had this one. So are we still up for meeting every two weeks to kind of talk about this or we wanted, um, and I don't know what, um, we don't have a Forest Health Council meeting till October. Um, so I'm just kind of getting a feel for how much, um, how, how many times you guys want to meet. Do you want to continue with our every two weeks with our schedule that we've already been doing? Any takers? These work fine. Agreed. This has been working fine. Okay. All right. So, so we're going to keep going that, but we can always have the right. I mean, if we want to vote, saying, "Hey, we feel like we don't need to meet in two weeks," we can. We can always do that. Um, so, which I would suggest that maybe we need to the next meeting maybe dig in a little deeper to this workforce concepts. Would that work for everyone for the next meeting? Yeah, I think yeah. that makes sense, Commissioner. Um, 
the I think just with the pace of things right now and, and acknowledging that there may be some uh, iterative requests and engagements both offline and online, it'd be good for us to continue to meet regularly. And I think roughing in that workforce piece and, and would be a really helpful uh, to certainly to, to the bill crafting and I think also for us to sort of shape exactly what it is that we're trying to recommend. I'm sorry, I didn't, I'm not sure, is anyone else here that I, Matt, you broke up quite a bit for me, so I'm not sure if everyone else heard that, because maybe you guys did, and I just need a quick update, a quick synopsis of what you said, sorry. Do I need to repeat that? Did you guys catch that? I caught it. Yeah, basically, Commissioner, I was just saying that um, with the, just the pace right now, how things are happening so quickly, meeting regularly, I think will be valuable, plus just the learning that'll come from that so that we get better at this each iterative year um, and, and using this sort of a test case with the council in its form currently. And then also, I think it's gonna be really helpful for us to continue to narrow in on that workforce um, concept so that we're all of the different disparate concepts that are all kind of being lumped together, maybe be, if we continue to reason through it, um, I think that'll be helpful to legislators as they craft uh, language, not only in the interim session, but in the in the intervening period, intervening period of time. Uh, I haven't had any coffee yet this morning. I can't wait. I'm very excited for this meeting and because I'm going to go make it. Um, but uh, but yeah, I just think it'd be helpful for us to continue to dialogue every two weeks. And if we don't want to if we don't want to meet, uh, and, and we can easily uh, we can easily make that call in the next meeting. Yeah, I, I agree um, with that statement. I, I, I'm guessing that we lost uh, Commissioner Shattuck McNally for just a second. I did have a question, Angela. So we shifted to have a meeting today, and by my calendar, the next meeting is actually next Friday. Um, is, is, so is that how we will do it, that we're going to stay on schedule for the pace prior to the shift? Does that question make I'm, sense? It's up to all of you. Um, you know, really, it's easy enough for us to um, reschedule so that the next meeting would be on the second. But I also recognize that's the Friday before Labor Day. I don't know if people are going to be out. Labor Day. Yeah, yeah. And, and and that's I guess part of, was part of my question. I mean, we're talking about you know me, moving forward on Bill Concept Number Four, and you know, kind of taking a look at that language, and it strikes me if it if it's working for others that the, the current schedule next week is probably the freshest <laughs> continuation of the discussion so so proactively i'll say that works for me if if someone's going to call the question on that that would be for me sure. as well. so we would do okay. 26 and then so, the nine So this next, so next Friday and then the ninth, does that work for everybody? How I about you speak up if that doesn't work for you? It must be me that's having problems with my phone. <laughs> I think everyone's good, Jody. Okay, sorry. Um, I knew this was going to happen once I got further out. So is that work? And so we'll, um, I'll draft that agenda with. Um, um, Courtney and everyone, and um, get that sent out. Sounds good. Paige, Sounds good. did you have anything Great. on this? Yeah, I just had a quick question for Matt. I just, are you working with the drafters on the reforestation bill concept? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Grillin has provided sort of updated information as it relates to some uh, specific costs associated with. Um, with just some of the, the nursery pieces, but as far as the reforestation at large, I've had some preliminary conversations with some other members outside of the interim committee, but um, we'll be working with them for all the specifics they want. We're also trying to get some better uh, information as well on um, our partners about what opportunities might be out there as well and increase folks' interest in, in seeing additional state investments in the nursery as leverage. Thank you. You bet. Great. Anyone else have anything else to talk about? Or we, I think we're at the end, end of the agenda. We moved through pretty quickly. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Give, give you back some time on a Friday. 
Well, um, I will, if, unless there's something pressing, it sounds like we have our kind of our direction for next Friday. Appreciate everyone kind of throwing this in real quick, um, but we wanted to kind of get a feel for if we wanted to continue on this pace of every two weeks or not. And so I had to, um, we kind of had to pull this meeting to kind of give everybody um, the recommendations for the 10 bills and then um, decide on our future cadence. So with that, I'll welcome the motion to adjourn the meeting. This is Julie, I would so move. Second. A second? Awesome, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Great, hey everybody, thanks for all your work and time. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thanks all, see ya.